Um, you know, if you'd have asked me when I was 28, when I was 28 years old, if you'd have asked me, hey, Inc., when are you at your best? Or if you'd have asked me any time during my 20s, Inc., when are you at your best, man? Like, when do you, when do you feel like you, you're at the elite level as a man? Like, when are you operating? When are you in the flow state, right? You ever seen a cat in the flow state to where when you see a cat shooting like Steph Curry, my man just letting it go, turning around, he in the flow state. You see a cat hit three home runs, my man in the flow state. You see a cat, football game, coming off the edge, three sack, my man in the flow state, he unstoppable, right? If you would have asked me that in my 20s, I'd have said, man, I'm at my best when everything is going the way I want it to go. Right? When I'm accomplishing everything I seek to accomplish, I got a goal, I chase it down, get up, chase that dragon every single day, I capture it, that's when I'm at my best. Now, if you ask me the same question at 38, I'm at my best when life put me outside of my comfort zone. I'm at my best when life doesn't give me sometimes what I seek to have. And the reason I say I'm at my best when life places me outside of my comfort zone, as a father, I listen more. As a husband, I'm more attentive. As a student, I listen more. I work on my communication more. Because if things just go the way you want it to go, when is it, when is it the hardest to get through to a person? When things are going the way that they want it to go. When is it the hardest to make a person listen? When they winning and getting everything they want. You can't talk to them, right? You can't tell them nothing. Right? That's why you tell people around my way, they used to always say, get the lesson when you lose, and youngin. Get the lesson when it ain't going your way. And a person to hear it and be like, all right, whatever. But no, sometimes that's the most vital lesson. So when you do start winning, you got the foundation to sustain and you know how to keep it. Right? And so for me, man, every single day, just getting up, if I get placed outside of my comfort zone, say, life, what are you trying to teach me right now? Because life puts us in certain areas that helps us grow. But oftentimes we fight it, right? And so whenever I got placed outside of my comfort zone, all right, life, what's the lesson? What's the lesson? What are you trying to teach me right now? I got injured, maybe I needed a little bit more patience, right? If I don't get to a certain place on time, I can't force it or change it. Life, what are you trying to teach me right now? If I'm trying to do something with my children and it's not going the way that I want it to go in terms of my communication, I'll step back and say, all right, Inc., all right, Jada, talk to me and tell me what are you hearing from and I can't say a thing, I just gotta listen, right? And so when things don't go your way, really press growth. When things are going your way, great, be grateful for growth. But when things are not going your way, really press growth as a young man. All right, life, what are you trying to teach me? What's the lesson in this? What's the blessing in this? What can I get from this? What can I extract from this? That's why Ready to witness the great night. I want my baby to have your eyes. I'm going against my own advice. Should I do New York? I can't decide. Fashion week was more your thing than mine. I can't even lie. I'd rather stay inside. I can't do suit and tie. Can't be in one room. With you and stand on different sides One thing at a time I have to learn to hide One thing at a time Emotions running high I wish you felt alright Just hitting my line All the time All the time oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. You stay on my mind What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Uh, as you tell you about Tyler today in my life, uh, I'm gonna show you how I navigate um, being a full-time uh, worker uh, in my job as a cybersecurity analyst, and also while I'm in school to get my master's. So uh, this journey has been pretty smooth so far. Um, I had all A's last semester, uh, but this is how you know my life is just on a daily basis. Like 
when you working, I always like I always tell people, like, oh my computer going off. I always tell people like, don't. It's always a wait. Don't ever settle. Um, always push yourself to go further and don't get comfortable in your role now because it is true you know anything can happen in the company they can cut you off you want to always make sure you build yourself up to be better than the job that you're in so um so the people that's looking to get in grc don't think when you get in grc it's like okay i'm good no nah, you need to be looking for the next next thing wait, wait what's your next step which where you going next so yeah i i don't never just settle down in where i'm at i always look to you know what i'm saying rise above the the, the level that i'm at so you never want to be like, okay, you're looking for an entry-level role. So when you get that entry-level role, you want to work to get out of entry-level. You know what I'm saying? So once you get that entry-level role by six months to one year, you should be above entry-level. So you should be able to be like, okay, I'm doing this role and I can add some more on top of that. Let me go back to school. Let me get another certification. So, um, yeah, welcome to my TED Talk. No pun intended, but um, intended, intended, intended. What the hell though? But yeah, man, like, come subscribe, man. The crib is a mess right now. Look at the crib, got clothes. Uh, I'm gonna get my TV hung up in the room. I ain't even make my bed this morning. Look at this, man. Didn't make my bed this morning. These shoes gotta get washed. I gotta get maintenance to hang up this TV for me. But yeah, let me put, get some light in here. I love with my, which way I face, cause I get that natural light, look at that. But yeah, finna get, finna get, get the crib together. You know, wash a little bit. I need to throw this mount away. I need to hang my jersey up. I got so much stuff. I got so much stuff to do. But we finna uh, work for one. And then on my break, I think I'm just gonna get the crib together. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm uh, I'm you know, wash clothes, get my bed and stuff straight. I should've did that this morning. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm clean up a little bit on my break. Uh, but yeah, let me get to, get to work real. Let's, let's get to work. What's good, man? Uh, so, I'm finna get on a vulnerability management meeting. Uh, yeah, and then after that, I just need to, uh, oops, can you see me? Then after that meeting, uh, I'll be working on some TPRM assessments. I'll explain to y'all what that is later on. I'm just checking in to show tell you what I'm doing um, throughout the day so uh, yeah I'm gonna work on those meetings well I'm gonna get in that meeting <laughs> work on those meetings and then work on those TPRM sessions to get those out and get 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 them to the vendor or whatever so they can get back with me uh, other than that other than that everything uh, going pretty smooth uh, Just got a uh, notification that I got a package downstairs and I'm gonna go downstairs and get me a, some coffee. I, uh, it's a coffee machine downstairs that's super fine that makes some good coffee. So I'm gonna go down there and do that. I ordered a couple shirts, well, a few shirts from Zara. Let's check them out, see what, see what they look like. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. 
Today been pretty smooth. Um, I had one meeting this morning for vulnerability management. Uh, that went smooth, uh, just with the networking team, uh, going over a few vulnerabilities um, that they had, and, uh, just addressing those. Uh, later on, I, had, I do have a meeting with everybody, the IT team, for to go over um, some vulnerability management projects and stuff. Uh, to get that on the road, just an update on uh, where we at and where we stand. Uh, and then I just have to work on the risk register. So today's been pretty, pretty much a work day. Uh, not much, um, not many meetings. So I can, you know, get a lot of get a lot of stuff done. That I Today been a pretty smooth day. Um, I got a lot done. Um, I did uh, TPRM assessments, third party risk assessments. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a vendor background check. So if I'm working with a vendor, say Walmart, for example, this is just an example. If I'm working with Walmart and I'm working with them on a technology base, say I'm working with their website to do something with our website. Um, we basically, I'm just sending them something to, sending them questions to vet what um, security controls they have in place uh, to protect our data. So, um, yeah, I did a couple of those today. Um, those went smooth. Uh, well, I sent out the questionnaires and stuff, uh, waiting on them to uh, get back with me. Um, what else I do today? Uh, work with um, vulnerability management so the different teams. So we did have a big vulnerability management team, uh, just going over vulnerabilities and uh, making sure we on track to remediate how we're supposed to um, in our timeline and stuff, and see what vulnerabilities uh, can we attack to you know lower our, our risk uh, landscape. So that was a great meeting. Um, I also been working with working on the risk register, just adding uh, new stuff and doing all the updates, uh, make sure I get it kind of updated um, to where I need it to be. Um, yeah, man, so it's been a pretty smooth day. Uh, nothing but work, work, work. Uh, after I get off, I'm gonna go to the gym and I need to uh, do homework uh, because later on this week is my college homecoming, so I'm not gonna get a lot of homework done. So. Uh, today will be homework day. When I get off, I need to go to the gym and come back do homework. That's the biggest thing. So, um, yeah, man, I catch y'all probably in the gym on the next clip. But appreciate y'all for watching and messing with me, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you want to see more. If it's lifestyle, if it's school. You know what I'm learning and stuff. If you have more questions, let me know. Um, yeah. Hey. 
truck to the plane to the truck truck to the hotel lobby me i go through underground garages presidential suite on deposit elevator up to the room shower up and then we hit the club touchdown gotta see what's up area code in my phone what numbers do i still have who do i know from the past hit one she say she got a man hit another one it goes green must have changed foes on the team remember when you let me in between that was 2017 all good chuck a look around find one to see my type damn my dog and he know what i like he done found me plenty in my life problem is i meet a girl tonight then i go and treat her too nice gallery of credit card swipes i don't even know if she a wife but i do know one thing though women they come they go Saturday through Sunday. i've been here this whole time and forgot to start my watch What's good, YouTube, man? Uh, it's currently 10.40 of uh, the night. I'm finna finish up my homework. Uh, my class, I'm taking three classes this semester. Uh, so pray for me. It's a lot. I'm here to get through. I mean, like, the next semester, on two, two classes, but by the like, time, I mean, <laughs> um, this semester, um, I'm taking. I'm taking strategic management and network technology. I'm taking in database development and AI and project management knowledge. So um, these classes should be pretty beneficial for real uh, in my role now. So I should learn a lot of stuff that I can use uh, in my role. So hopefully, uh, hopefully everything goes smooth, you know, and I don't. Gotta to stay on top of everything. Uh, right now, I'm trying to, you know, stay ahead. Last semester, I used to wait, wait until the end of the week to try to do my homework and my discussions and stuff. So, this, I want to at least do it throughout the week. Do little things throughout the week to, you know, so at the end of the week, the uh, only thing I have to do is probably proofread and, you know, submit and stuff. So, that's what I'm trying to do. So, every night, I just do my homework before I go to bed. I'll probably be up for another 30 minutes till probably 11.30, get in the bed, go to sleep. Wake up in the morning, man. So this, this, now I understand like when people be like, what you do from five to nine, so five in the morning to 9 p.m. I mean, 9 a.m. 